Well, you guys know I start my morning with my little breakfast. Not every day I prepare such an extensive breakfast like this. This is egg and um, coffee and milk. But today I decided to do it. I'm doing my makeup while I eat. It is 4.52. So I should be heading out in about 5 minutes or at 5 a.m. Good morning, everyone. Uh, today I'm recording another day in my life in the surgery service. Um, so I just got to the hospital. It's around 5:30, and rounds today start at 6:10. But I only have one patient, so I should be good um, because yesterday we had clinic all day, so there weren't any follow-up uh, post-up for me other than the previous one that I had from the day before. Um, but I'm in the hepatobiliary service so today there's four cases scheduled um, two laparoscopic cholecystectomies and two hernio hernia repairs which I'm still struggling to say the name of the procedure but um, yeah so after I go round on my patient before rounds I am going to also review the patients uh, for the cases of today but yeah I'm gonna vlog a little bit of my experience today and we'll see what happens it's been a really great experience this week I can tell you a little bit more um, once I get settled <laughs> today but I have seen very cool cases throughout the week and I really I'm really appreciating this experience even though I'm not gonna be a surgeon I'm learning a lot and I'm just taking the most out of this experience <laughs> yeah so I just entered the hospital I'm going to get settled here in one of these computers and then um, like I said in my previous video just review all the information for the patient and the computer and then go see the patient um, it's Friday <laughs> by this point I'm really really tired um, yesterday I was like a zombie but today I drank a little bit of coffee to in order to like be more active especially because I'm recording and everything so hopefully it goes well hopefully we finish the day early not super late um, but yeah I don't have earrings <laughs> I took them off especially as I want to be like free of jewelry um, when I'm going into the OR just in case you know a uh, surgeon's preferences um, so I took off all the jewelry which I look a little bit crazy but it is what it is <laughs> hi guys so I just got out of the second case it was back to back so I had no time to film in the in the middle but I'm here having some lunch um, mac and cheese and chicken so the two the two previous cases both were a laparoscopic cholecystectomy and I scrubbed in both really interesting the different cases though one was a symptomatic cholelithic acid but the other one was um, a gallbladder mass so we got to see us in the two pathology and wait for the results. I did a really good job in the <laughs> holding the camera, I think. Um, so yeah, really great crisis. Next ones are hernias, inguinal hernias. Um, the second one will be bilateral. So I've never seen those. And I'm excited to see some of those. So, but I'm gonna have my lunch because I'm like starving. And then review the cases. Hi guys, this is my little outfit for uh, when I'm inside the OR, but here I just got out. Um, so we did two uh, inguinal hernias. The second case was a little bit more complicated because it was bilateral inguinal hernias and we also fixed in a small umbilical hernia. Um, so I feel really happy about today. There's still one case that it's pending that they are uh, kind of like deciding whether to do it or not because it's not emergent and um, they have a uh, little space in the OR but it was amazing like um, the surgeon that I worked with uh, was really good the resident was also really helpful and you know I got to close the, the ports for the skin you know practice those skills 
um, so I feel really happy about it. I got to like see the anatomy uh, really well since I did it twice. The first time was like kind of recognizing things and I looked it up and that's my favorite way of learning, like kind of like studying from the cases that I see. So right, right when I get out of a case or when I'm preparing for a case in the morning, I try to look up the topic and that way I learn it better. Like for example, the second cholecystectomy case was a uh, gallbladder mass. So I looked up, you know, uh, cholangiocarcinoma, gallbladder carcinoma, all of those uh, gallbladder pathologies. So it kind of like, uh, triggered me to uh, know more about those topics and it keeps me interested so we've seen very interesting cases the last case is a case of a small bowel obstruction that was uh, that, that we did like a trial with supportive measures but the patient continued to have obstruction after two days so they need to do exploratory laparotomy to you know, kind of see what's going on. It's probably going to be adhesions due to the fact that he had a previous um, laparotomy or laparotomy means they have opened his abdomen and once you have operated in an abdomen, um, it kind of causes adhesions that can cause an obstruction later on. So yeah, pretty fun stuff, really interesting things. And I'm, I'm really, you know, grateful about my experience here in the surgery service. Everybody has been, you know, nice and, and you know, uh, willing to teach, especially the residents have been pretty nice. Um, so yeah, I, it's 6 p.m. I don't know, I'm gonna um, just hang in here a little bit more uh, to see if they're gonna decide to do the last case because I'm really here for the experience and I'm not gonna complain about it being late. Of course, I, you know, I get my moments where I'm like exhausted. Like today after I had lunch, I had all those scars that I showed you. So I was like falling asleep a little bit afterwards because of course you get like the afternoon uh, downhill. But, uh, you know, I drank coffee and push through and that's the way that you learn try to be engaged in the cases try to you know when when there's laparoscopic procedures being done like just looking at the anatomy trying to recognize things if you don't uh, recognize something that the surgeon's talking about look it up after the surgery and try to you know see what what they mean by what they're saying so that just helps you a little bit uh, be better and just show interest. That's all I can say. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens with the rest of the day. But I'll catch you guys up once I'm leaving the hospital. I'm here in the library. It's empty. Most likely everybody left. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm willing to stay if, if, because it's my last day in hepatobiliary service. I want to just learn as much as possible. Um, you know, gather. This is the last time I'm going to be in surgery because, of course, I'm not going to be a surgeon. So I want, you know, have the most experience, see the most things as possible. So today we have, I saw two a uh, cholecystectomies, one for symptomatic cholelithiasis or symptomatic gallstones, and the other one for gallbladder mass. And then the other two uh, surgeries were um, hernia repairs, uh, mm, laparoscopic, but without reaching the peritoneum. It's really interesting, because they don't have to go like inside, inside of your abdomen. They just go between the fascia and the peritoneum and that way it's less complications and it's really cool from the inside so I got to you know learn a lot of something that I didn't know that was possible um, so yeah really happy about my experience hi guys I am finally driving home <laughs> I know it's 7 p.m. Uh, this is how surgery days are like you finish late um, but I'm super grateful for my experience I'm honestly I have learned so much during these last three weeks I still have two more weeks left of surgery and the good thing is weekends I have off so tomorrow I'm just going to you know focus on other things that I have to do take a break from like school stuff um, but yeah I get to rest now finally um, uh, they didn't end up doing the last case that they were gonna do so because it's not emergent they're gonna leave it for uh, Monday and yeah we'll see
see what happens thank you so much for watching my video um i really appreciate all your support and if you like this kind of videos to like learn more about the medical school experience or um tips advice in general please make sure to subscribe to my channel like it share it with other people and i'll see you